Hi, in today's video we will look at a game written in BASIC long time ago, well to be exact in 1981. Uh, the game was written by Bill Gates and Neil Konzan and it was included in first version of Microsoft DOS operating system distributed with the original IBM PC. Uh, the game is called Donkey and you can see behind my back how the game looks like. Well, this is just the image, not the actual game. And the whole point of this game is to show off capabilities of Microsoft Basic. And to be honest, I didn't even know that this game even existed until just a few weeks ago. I was more familiar with some later demos, such as Gorillas and Nibbles, which were included in some later versions of Microsoft DOS operating system. Uh, since then, the game was ported on many other systems as well. Um, and just recently Jim Carrey published a video uh, with his version of this game uh, for TRS-80 MC10 microcomputer, so check that out. So the whole point of this video is to show you my version of this game made for Commodore 64, and let me show you how the game looks like, and then we can take a look at the code together. And this is our donkey game for Commodore 64. Well, this is just inter-screen. Uh, we need to press key to continue. Uh, but the whole reason why I made this game is simply because I couldn't find anyone else did it. So I thought it would be a fun little project to do. So yeah, let's press any key to continue. Well, now we are loading a game. Well, we are loading the data um, or to be precise, the sprites for the game. So this will take a while. And here we go. So um, we are this uh, green little car uh, driving on the road and trying to avoid donkeys. That's it. That's the whole point of this game. And uh, every time that we pass a donkey without colliding with it, uh, we get one point and we progress a little bit more further on the screen, uh, making this game um, a bit more difficult because you have less and less time to react um, to avoid the donkey um, and of course when you reach the top limit on the screen um, you start from the beginning from the bottom but you um, your speed increases so the car moves faster and faster and again making the game uh, more difficult and difficult and so there is no end of this game this is just endless loop um, um, and I will try to show you that if I don't collide with the donkey. And I do hope that you can hear a little bit sound effects that I built into this game. Well, I did my best. Here we go. We are at level 2. Well, um, I did try to do my best with sound, especially this, uh, during the playtime, uh, considering this is a basic. Um, try to emulate the sound, uh, sound effect of um, um, engine sound effect. Um, yeah, maybe it sounds like a tractor, but yeah, still. And this is the collision, and collision is the most interesting part of the game, <laughs> actually. <laughs> and every time that you collide with the donkey, you get you start from the beginning, from the bottom of the screen. Um, so, yeah, it's a fun little game. Um, uh, and especially, uh, like I mentioned before, this game was made like a demo, so the whole purpose of this game is to demonstrate what can be done in Microsoft Basic, and in 1981 this would be pretty impressive stuff. So, yeah, very nice indeed. And even um, uh, the code for the original Microsoft Basic is even uh, smaller than my code here for Commodore 64, um, so yeah, very very nice. Well, again, um, Bill Gates and Neil Konzen are much smarter than me, so yeah, their code is definitely smaller. Yeah, so that's it. Let me show you the code in 
on Commodore 64. Um, there is not much code actually. Most of these lines are just RAM statements and um, data for the sprites and stuff. So um, I don't know have I mentioned this before, but the links for the game and the code will be available in the description of this video. So check that out. But now let me show you the code in more convenient way where we can go line by line and I will explain what's uh, happening in the game and how everything is built. So let's do that. Okay, and this is our code for the donkey game. Uh, the first line, or to be precise, line zero is just RAM statement. Uh, at line one, we immediately jump to subroutine at line 400, and that's our intro screen. Uh, let's see that. So this is a subroutine uh, for generating intro screen. Uh, nothing special here, we just print out text, set up the border color and the um, uh, color of the characters and we are waiting for the player to press any key to uh, start loading the game. Um, and then uh, after that we uh, initialize our random function and we are creating an array uh, of strings <coughs> and this array of strings will be used for the track which I'll explain in a second. And then we print out the score, the first top line, and we print a loading uh, sequence, um, loading string, uh, and then um, as each element loads, we will just print the dots on the screen. Uh, the first thing we do, we generate the track, um, and to be precise, we're generating the strings for the track. So we have two types of strings that we are using for the track. Um, with or without the middle uh, line um, and the, how we um, print them on the screen is um, first we print two strings with the middle line and then one string without the middle line and then we just repeat the um, process in the cycle um, so that's how we get the broken middle line here so I will show you uh, what I'm talking about here so uh, let's start here. So this is our first line, uh, first string with uh, track borders and track uh, middle line. And the middle line is um, created from two characters. One is this one and the second one is um, the opposite, of course. And then this uh, right border, of course. Then we repeat that same string one more time. And then we print out another string without a uh, middle line, so only with the borders. And we are just repeating that in the cycle and that's how we uh, generate the track. And we use the scroll down effect. Um, so that's about it. Um, let's go back to our code. Uh, after that we initialize um, some variables that we are going to use uh, during this game. Um, uh, we set up player and donkey uh, scores to zero and this is the speed of the donkey so the donkey moves uh, progress downwards by five and then we are loading the sprites for the player and for the donkey so for the donkey is quite uh, straightforward there's nothing special we are just loading the data and store them into memory position for uh, that sprite uh, for player it's a bit more complicated so, so I will show you that uh, 300 here we are so here we are loading the player sprite but um, instead of just creating a single sprite for the player we are actually creating a five sprites so we are creating the normal sprite for the player and then we are creating four additional sprites um, that we are going to use during the collision so what's happening here is that um, we are dividing the single uh, sprite the data for that uh, car uh, into four uh, quarters uh, and each quarter is stored in a separate sprite uh, in that in that way uh, once the collision happens uh, we are able to <laughs> split the car into four pieces and um, start that animation that uh, when the car kind of explodes um, so we are using four additional sprites to do that and that's why this whole process is a bit more complicated uh, and also <clears throat> the way how the sprite data is um, 
uh, written into uh, memory how it's actually structured um, we have three bytes per line um, for each sprite and that means that okay the left byte um, can go to um, one uh, for the left uh, sprite uh, for the collision and the right uh, far more right byte also goes to the right and th this one in the middle we need to split that into half so half a byte goes to one sprite and half a byte goes to the other and this that is what's happening here so the first four significant bits goes to the sprite for uh, left sprite and uh, uh, four last significant bits goes to the other sprite so um, then that happens um, two times because we have of course uh, upper half and lower half um, so yeah and then we are just printing those uh, dots as we progress uh, with our loading just to have a little bit more um, animation and then we are setting up the colors for us for a car and initializing the those sprites right uh, the same happens with the donkey sprite, uh, except we are just loading a single sprite, nothing special here. Uh, again, we are just printing those dots. Um, and that's about it. When that is over, we can continue with our game. Um, of course, we are making only first two sprites visible, and that's the donkey and the player. So those four additional sprites are hidden for now. And then for all the sprites, we are using the double width and double height option because that's um, what we need uh, for this game. And then we are just printing the score. And then we are positioning our um, player sprite XY coordinates and the donkey XY coordinates. And then we are entering our main loop, which is this piece of code right here. Well, to be precise, is this is our main loop. And here, this system calls, and uh, this is our uh, scrolling down routine, um, or hack, whatever you want to call it. And here, uh, we are just printing the track on the screen, um, line by line, uh, moving everything down, and then we are just adding on, on top of the screen we are just adding um, uh, strings um, for the track uh, and that's how we get that effect that and again we are checking whether or not the user press a key or to press a space key and that means that we need to uh, switch from one to the other side of the road for the player and here we are checking whether or not collision happens between the donkey and the player uh, in that case um, we are jumping at line 200 and let me show you 200 so this is the collision so what's happening here is uh, first of all we need to place those four hidden sprites for the player uh, at the same position as the player um, and then we are making them visible we are hiding the original sprite for the player and then in this for loop we are um, animating those sprites so we are moving uh, away they, they are moving away from each other that's how we get that explosion effect uh, once this is done uh, we are just making uh, we just hide them again and we are making the original sprite player sprite visible um, together with the donkey of course uh, we are jumping at subroutine 250 which is um, just printing the score and then we need to generate um, a new don donkey at the top of the screen uh, with the random uh, posi position um, whether left or right and also we move um, player sprite to the bottom position on the beginning of the track and that's about it we are jumping back into line 120 uh, which is right here so we are just continuing with our main loop uh, also um, we are checking here whether or not the donkey uh, reached the bottom of the screen that means that we need to uh, generate new donkey and that happens right here so well we are just moving that sprite on top of the screen um, 
changing, picking the random position left or right uh, on the track. Player gets one point, of course, and then also we are checking whether or not the player reached the top of the screen, that means top limit. So every time that we don't hit the donkey, so we pass the donkey, uh, the player progresses a little bit more forward. Uh, and once we uh, reach the top um, limit for the player, uh, we um, have a little visual effect and then uh, we reset the player position back to the bottom to start from the beginning, but then we increase the speed of the, of the donkey. And that's about it. And this, of course, is data uh, for, this is the data for uh, player and this is the data for a um, donkey uh, sprite. And that's it. That's the whole code. Nothing special here. Um, yeah, so this is it. Um, some of my friends in Retro Repairs group uh, suggested that it would be fun to add some additional features to uh, to this game, like um, ability for the player to shoot the donkey or something like that. So maybe that will be uh, my next thing to do here. Uh, but yeah, um, until then, um, thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye.